sheep when you can be extraordinary. Up what you nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Chainsaw Man chapter 93 and I swear to fucking god the timing of the Chainsaw Man chapters right now is just so scary. It's it really fucking is because last chapter was really about how being normal and being a sheep is really goddamn overrated. It really is. How Denji is uh, feeling, how he really is be feeling being used in all this shit. It's just fucking normal. And it's so goddamn true. And then he sees on the TV that everyone is chanting his name. And the... The great thing about this is that, remember what the purpose of this from Makima was. It was to weaken Chainsaw Man. That was the weakness. And I really hope that I'm right on this, that this is going to just completely backfire on, on Makima. I really hope that this is the direction Fujimoto is going to go in because, oh my god, it will be so epic. It really, really will. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. There's chains, Dude, we need this Chainsaw Man merchandise. I need this in my life. And this chapter... <laughs> this chapter is titled, titled You and Crappy Movies. I swear to God, Fujimoto, if you are going to roast Hollywood as woke wood, I should say, I'm going to fucking die. Seriously, please tell me you're going to be doing this. They're all, they're all praising me. Yes, you are. Chainsaw Man, go out with me. Love, Mom. <laughs> oh my God, they really, please really love me. <laughs> they totally love me. Pipe down, will ya? <laughs> toast with jam for breakfast. What I really want is to eat steak for breakfast every morning. I know I shouldn't. I know it's terrible, but it's the same when it, com when it comes to girls, too. Deep down, I want five, no ten girlfriends. <laughs> Dude, doesn't every man want this? I'm very curious. Especially when you're like Denji's age. I... I know, thank God, thank fucking manga gods that PC pandas don't read this. Thank God Karens don't read this shit because you know what they would be saying right now. Um, and I'm sorry. I'm not sorry that I'm gonna be saying this. Uh, because it, it's fucking true. They would be saying this is some toxic masculinity. But you know what? Fuck you bitches. Fuck you because de let Denji have this, man. Seriously. Let Denji have this shit. And I swear to fucking God, if I see this shit on Twitter where these Karens are bitching about toxic mas Denji's toxic masculinity, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Because, dude, Denji's been through so goddamn much bullshit. He has. Let the man have this. Let him have this shit. Let him have it. He deserves it. I want to have tons of sex. Yes. Let the man have this. Let him have it. Don't be a fucking asshole. Don't be a fucking uh, PC panda. <laughs> I love the boss's look. He's like. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at like. Um, that's why, yeah, that's why I want to be Chainsaw Man, yes, 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 thank you, Fujimoto, thank you, G thank you, manga gods, for this, draw attention to yourself, and you're asking to be, ki uh, get killed by Makima, she has keen, e uh, keen ears, I'm telling you, Makima is, <laughs> God, 
I can't say Maki. I part of me really wants to say Makima is the ultimate Karen, but nah, that that's that is reserved for someone else. Nah, there is someone that is a is a true Karen in manga, and that uh, that bitch is in um is in Kaboto Jihen. Makima is not a Karen. No, that bitch in Kimono Jihen. She is. Go read Kimono Jihen. You will understand. Um, what I mean by Lady Inari being the ultimate Karen. She is. She is Queen Karen. Um, the next time you turn into Chainsaw Man is the day she kills you. Oh, shit. But Denji can't be in fear like this. He has to do something. I still want to be Chainsaw Man. How can I kill him as Makima so I can do that? She's not an enemy I could beat by swinging my chainsaws around willy-nilly. And all this time I spent watching her and talking to her, there's got to be something that fell off. Think. Think, Denji. Uh, rack your crappy brain. Hey, at least Denji knows he's fucking stupid. God, it's no use. My turn to crap, uh, uh, crap brain's gotten even more jumbled than before. I'm the worst. Even after what she did to me, I still like Ms. Makima. No. He don't like Ms. Makima like that. No, that isn't love. No. That ain't love. That's just thirst. Denji, that is not love that you are feeling. You just want to fuck Makima. That's all you want. You just want to fuck her. That's it. That's infatuation. Speaking of, there's that bitch. And there's Chainsaw Man. Just waiting. Dude, this panel with all of of all the uh, agents is just so creepy. But here's the thing that that's gonna be interesting. And you know what? I'm gonna save it for the end end of this. Let me finish this chapter. You look quite feeble now. Did you come here expressly to die for me? Ms. Makima, in the in this ultra awesome perfect world, you're gonna um you're gonna make <laughs> Well there uh, oh my god. Ms. Makima, in this ultra awesome perfect world you're gonna make, will there still be crappy movies? <laughs> Why don't you turn back into Denji? Personally, I believe the world would be better if bad movies cease to exist. Okay, the only thing you gotta, I, I gotta ask here, Fuji, uh, Fujimoto, is you gotta define a bad movie. Because the thing is, is art is subjective. And crappy movies are subjective. I don't know, I, I don't think, but the thing is, is with crappy movies, I don't think Denji talking about woke movies. Nah, I think he's talking about, like, cheesy-ass movies. That's what I think Denji talking about in terms of bad movies. He's not talking about UPC Hollywood. He's not talking about current bad movies. He's talking about the cheesy-ass bad movies. Like, movies so bad that they're good. Like, cult, like, uh, cult classic movies. You guys know what I'm talking about. I guess I gotta kill you after all then. Right then. This appear that's a dumb I, I have to say, that's gotta be one of the dumbest reasons to kill somebody. But I understand why Fujimoto uh, uh, I understand what Fujimoto's saying with this. I understand. Um, this appearance of yours and the things you say are unworthy of Chainsaw Man. Go, go fuck yourself, Makima. And you know what? I'm gonna take back what I said. Makima is a straight-up Karen! She is! Makima is a fucking Karen! Is she Lady Inari? Love is a Karen? You know what? I'm gonna say that she, I'm gonna take back what I said! She is 
the feral lady in Ari in terms of Karen. She is. She, you know what? I'm gonna say she really is. She might be even more of a Karen than Lady Inari. She really is. She really might be the, the queen of Karens on this one. She might be the she might be the Lilith of Karens. She really is. I'm gonna go. I really am gonna go this route. Lil, uh, she is the Lilith of Karens. This one is. I find you disagreeable. Yeah, she's the Lilith of Karens, this bitch is. You, dude, she is the Lilith of fucking Karens, this bitch is. Yeah. Shit, shit's getting real in this manga. I fucking love this final page, though. This final page is great with the squad. Yeah, th this bitch the, is the mother of all... Is, the mother of all of all Karens. She is. She's the Lilith of Karens. Alright, so here's the thing that I see what Fujimoto was doing with this. What's going on here uh, in terms of commentary is that Fujimoto is talking about um, is talking about freedom of expression. That's what Fujimoto going in on. Because what's going on uh, in, in terms of like culture war especially in the west is these motherfuckers these pc pandas are trying to are trying to suppress freedom of expression because if they don't like something that's not pc it doesn't fit into their um box of perfection if they don't like it they want to shut it down um for example there is a um, there was a remake of um, of uh, of witches, and boy was it PC as fuck. It got woke, um, and people were pissed. People were so pissed, and I'm telling you, I feel like that's what Fujimoto was doing with the, with this chapter in particular. Um, that's why I said. Uh, that's why I think Denji said that. Said that line about, uh, and that's why I think it was titled. Um, why Fujimoto went with this title is because Fujimoto notices what's going on with um, with woke Hollywood and these reboots. And this isn't the only manga that's doing this. Undead Unlock is going in on woke Hollywood with uh, with the reboots. And also not just woke Hollywood, woke uh, the woke comic book industry as well. But um, I but this Chainsaw Man, what Fujimoto is really going in on is woke Hollywood. Oh, for goddamn sure, goddamn sure, this is straight up woke Hollywood. Um, Fujimoto going in on, Be, and especially and also with cancel culture to boot, because remember what these motherfuckers are trying to do is in their, in their world and this great uh, this great reset shit that they're trying to do is they're trying to get rid of everything they deem um, inappropriate that's what they're trying to do and I, I, I love that Fujimoto doing this Fujimoto you are sneaky I see it I see what you're doing you sneaky fuck I see it. And again, as I said, I, uh, and I gotta say, the timing of these chapters, man. The timing of these manga chapters is just unfucking believable Oh, God, it's not only Chainsaw Man that's doing this. It's a, a lot of manga is, is just really going in on the West. It really fucking is because what's going on, and uh, as I said, is there's a lot of attack... Uh, there's a lot of attack on um, uh, artistic expression. And the fact that manga is going in on this shit is just amazing. And I love it. Keep this up. I love that Chainsaw Man going in on this. I really fucking do. Good, uh, Fujimoto, good on you for doing this. Good on you for going in on... Um, on this shit in this direct in this way 
I really love that Denji is waking the fuck up. I love that Denji wants to... I love the reasoning for Denji wanting to be Jesus. It's, it's true to Denji's character. And it really fucking is. Um, but anyway, I'm very curious what you guys thought of this chapter. What do you guys think of... Um, do you guys agree with me with the underlying message that Fujimoto is going for? Or do you think I'm just thinking too deep into this? I really think that's what Fujimoto is doing. I really, I honestly do. It just makes so much sense. Um, let me know your thoughts. On, and also, the other thing I got to say is, um, the, thing, the other thing I got to mention I almost forgot is I think what Denji has to do to beat Makima since he is going to use Makima's shit against her. And I'm really, I, I wonder if this is going to be the case. I wonder if the key to defeating Makima is to eat her. I wonder if that's it. I don't, that's, I don't know. I'm really curious what you guys think in regards to that. Do you think um, Denji has to eat her or do you think it has to ultimately do with going um, to hell and destroying the gun devil itself and the uh, uh, destroying all the devils that Makima has made contracts with. It's gotta be, I think it might have to be a combination of the two. It's kind of, and I mentioned this in um, Attack on Titan, my Attack on Titan live reaction. I feel like it's gotta be a combination. It's kind of like, um, uh, like what's ha what happened in Natsu no Taze with the Demon King. I'm sorry I'm spoiling Taze, but you motherfuckers should have read it. It's like it, where you gotta kill the physical body, and you gotta and um and you gotta kill the um kill the devil the the devil body. You know the the in this case the the contra the devils that uh, Makima has a contract with themselves. I feel like that's gotta be the case. So I feel like what's gonna have to happen is they're gonna. I think the first step is you gotta kill. Ma, um, you gotta. I, I don't know if you gotta eat Makima's uh, eat Makima first, or you gotta go. Um, or if, if Ma, eating Makima is gonna be be last. Um, but I think I don't. That's the thing that I don't know what direction it's gonna have to go in. If we're, it's got to be one or the other. I'm really curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Chainsaw Man content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.